screen sharing at this time and we want to welcome everyone to our kindergarten kindergarten fair and this is the class of 2034 so i'm going to screen share and we'll see how this i'm going to try to oh Rayanne, I have it says it's disabled. I'm not able to screen share at this time. Can you help me with that? Our first hiccup of the night. So we, right, we appreciate your patience um, as well this evening, but we wanna thank you for joining us this evening um, for our kindergarten fair. As normally we would love to be in the building and meet you and greet you. And we're hoping maybe this spring or later on, maybe even if we have to wait till the summer. Um, but I'm Kathy Swatner. I'm the principal at Roarstown Elementary School. And we are going to take this evening to talk with you and tell you a little bit about kindergarten and the school in general and meet some of the staff that you will and your child will interact with when they come to Roarstown. So I'm gonna try again so we can see if we can get our PowerPoint up so everyone can see it. There we go. Thank you. So again, welcome this evening, and we appreciate you taking the time to join us. I'm Kathy Swatner, as I shared, the principal, and thank you for joining us. Our agenda for this evening, as you can see, um, just a quick rundown. Mrs. Statler is going to talk with you. Our reading specialists are going to share some things, as well as some of our key support staff in the building. Mrs. Bupp, our nurse, is going to talk with you. And then at the end, we just have some general information and some commonly asked questions that we hopefully will be able to answer. And then if you have any questions, um, you're able to put them in a chat box as well. So we're going to kick it off with Mrs. Statler. All right, good evening. I am Jen Statler. I'm currently the only kindergarten, at, or kindergarten teacher at Roarstown. We have an AM and PM session that fluctuates um, year to year depending on numbers. So there might be two sessions, there might be three. We won't be sure until the school year starts. Um, it, this will be my sixth year teaching at teaching kindergarten at Roarstown. Um, I thought I would start out by talking about what our school day looks like, what a typical day looks like in kindergarten. Um, the AM crew can arrive, the doors open at 840 and we start at nine o'clock. Um, the morning children can come, they can be a bus rider or you can drop them off. Um, PM students would be car riders to drop off but then they could ride a bus um, to go home in the afternoon. Um, we also have some daycares that transport back and forth. So if you um, know that your child's going to daycare for the other part of the day, you can check with them. We have some daycares that have vans that come to the school. Um, we do class meeting right after the students arrive and that includes calendar, any social emotional skills. I typically teach during that time. Um, some days we have times for the students to share different things in class meeting. Um, we have reading workshop as a part of our day. We use foundations, which um, teaches them their letters, the sounds the letters make and how to put those sounds together into words um, and sentences. And there's a handwriting component of foundations as well. Um, we do read alouds, comprehension strategies. Um, we also use Hegarty. We do some um, word play kinds of activities um, where they're hearing the words and doing different things with the sounds and the words, but not necessarily seeing them during that time. Uh, we always do writing workshop, which we do something called kid writing. Um, we start out with pictures and then as the year progresses, we add details to their pictures, colors to their pictures, um, labels. We work on stretching out the words. 
um, by the end of the year, they're doing a picture and writing sentences. Um, and it is a favorite time for a lot of kids during the school day. They really like to choose what they're writing, um, draw a picture and um, go through that whole process. Um, specials in kindergarten, once a cycle, they'll go to phys ed. They'll have a music time, library and art. And then days that they don't have a special, we do go out to the playground. Um, there's a math part of the day. Um, math is very hands-on in kindergarten. Um, it's mostly about understanding concepts, introducing concepts, um, lots of manipulatives, lots of games. Um, we'll have a win time. Win stands for what I need. Um, and it's basically times that uh, children are pulled out for things like English language learning, speech, um, reading support, and then for the students that remain in the classroom, they will do centers and then I will pull small groups for guided reading. We touch on some science and social studies that doesn't happen every day, but we squeeze it in where we can. Um, and then dismissal, again, the morning um, ends at 11.45 and those students need a ride, um, their car riders at 11.45. And then in the afternoon, school ends at 3.30 and they can ride the bus home or be car riders. Um, there'll be more about arrival dismissal procedure things as we get closer to the school year. On the first day of kindergarten, it looks a little different for kindergarten than the rest of the students. Um, the date is to be determined uh, when the calendar is approved. Um, that again, that information will come to you. Um, kindergarten students should come with a parent or another adult on that first day of school. They, um, we start out together and they do an activity to explore the classroom and get to see where they'll be. Um, for kindergarten and then we split and um, parents and caregivers will meet with me and talk about um, different things that are going to happen along the course of the year and then the students will meet with um, some other teachers and staff in the building and they'll do some activities with them. Um, day two will be a regular day for them. They'll come at the regular time. They'll walk into the building independently um, and we have staff who will help them find the kindergarten room on that first day. Um, they'll be looking for them and directing them to the right place. And then um, just the other thing I wanted to talk about, things you can do at home to prepare them for kindergarten. Um, the biggest thing, it's like two more, whoops. That's, oh, no. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Um, things you can do at home. Really, the most important thing is to foster those independent skills. Um, we do the academics at kindergarten, um, but they really need to be able to take their coat on and off, um, undo those sleeves when they're inside out, be able to do that on their own, zip their coat, button their coat. Um, they really should be able to do any anything they're wearing, they should be able to do independently. Um, things like the bathroom, um, closing the door at home, they might not ever close the door. So we have a door, uh, we have a bathroom in our classroom, which is really nice because they don't have to go out into the hallway, but just practicing that skill of closing the door, flushing, washing their hands when they're done, throwing the paper towel in the trash can, um, things like that. And then just working on following directions um, for things at home versus doing things for them. Um, letting them put on their own coats, letting them clear their own dishes, just letting them do things at home, asking them, requiring things of them so that when they get to school, it's not a surprise um, because they haven't had things expected of them. Um, advocating for themselves when they need help, um, coming to me, raising their hand, asking when they're struggling with something. Um, anytime you can engage in fine motor kinds of activities is fantastic, coloring, writing, cutting. Um, they can cut your junk mail apart. They can cut cereal boxes. Anything that they can practice using those scissors um, is a great thing. Play-Doh, um, anything they can play with with their hands. It prepares them for writing and coloring and doing a lot of what we do um, along the course of the school day. And reading, just enjoying books together. 
Um, and even if, lang even if English is not your first language, reading in your language and them hearing books um, is just equally as important. Um, so just sharing books together and enjoying that time. Um, as far as supplies, I don't have a slide for that. Really, the only thing they need is a backpack that is big enough to fit a full size, like a full size folder. Um, all the other supplies are provided on that first day of school. Um, there will be certain things throughout the school year that I might say if anybody has tissues or things like that, but um, their actual school supplies will be supplied for them. Um, that is all that I have, but there will be lots of information coming to you before the first day. Okay, good evening, parents. My name's Heidi Weber. I'm one of the reading specialists here at Morristown. We are fortunate enough to have three reading specialists at our building. We also have uh, Kristen Dvorak and she will be speaking in just a moment. And we also have Alicia Wells, who was unable to be with us tonight. On the next slide, I would like to talk about um, information that you might need about kindergarten screening. So kindergarten screening this year is gonna happen a little later in the year than traditionally. So, um, the first weeks of May, and actually I have a typo on there, it'll be May 3rd through the 14th, and it'll be during school hours. And how you sign up is that you can call the school starting tomorrow and talk to Mrs. Brisky or Mrs. Fisher, and um, I have the number there, and it'll come up again later in the presentation as well. Um, and they will help you schedule your appointment. It'll take about 30 minutes, and your child will meet with one of the reading specialists and possibly our IST teacher as well. And everyone will be masked with social distancing during this time. Um, and the, the child does not need to prepare anything for the screening. We're just looking at their basic literacy and math skills. So um, alphabet letters, if they can um, say the first sound of words, rhyming, uh, things like that. Um, so things that were, those are the things that we're looking at for screening. So Kristen Dvorak's gonna talk to us about um, some things that you can do at home to help support them in reading. Uh, good, good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Kristen Dvorak and I'm one of the other reading specialists here at Warristown. Um, parents always ask what, ca what can they do at home with their child to prepare them for kindergarten. So we just um, wanted to share some ideas of literacy skills that you could be practicing with your child at home. Like Mrs. Statler mentioned, reading is so important. Um, just sitting together and enjoying uh, books you know, reading aloud to your child, it stimulates their imagination and their creativity. It prepares them um, for listening skills and their language development and their vocabulary. So it's a very important skill to do. Most kids love to sit down and, and share a good book with, with somebody at home. Um, something else that you can practice is um, letters and number games and keep it real fun and light. Uh, try to pick letters that are important to them, such as letters that are in their names. Um, also um, numbers that are important to them, you know, how old they are or how many siblings they might have or counting pets and things like that, um, just to keep it fun and easy. Also memory games and matching, um, playing I spy with finding letters around, um, you know, the house or numbers on cereal boxes, things like that. Um, another very important uh, skill is rhyming. And there's uh, three stages of rhyming. And the first one is just hearing rhyming words, which um, listening to nursery rhymes or poems or songs that have rhyming words is a great activity to do with them. And then the next uh, skill would be uh, recognizing rhymes. So being able to say two words to your child and having them be able to tell you if the words rhyme or if they don't. Um, and then the last skill of rhyming is uh, rhyming production, where you would say a word and they would be able to come up with a word that rhymes with that. Um, that's uh, the order of, of the rhyming skills that uh, 
are good to, to go in that order. Because if you start with rhyme, rhyming production, you'll find out kind of that can be a little challenging for, for the children. Um, something else is being able to, ha or helping your child to be able to write their first name with their upper and lowercase letters. Uh, sometimes kids come and they know their uppercase letters, but they're not as familiar with the lowercase letters. And in um, our phonics program, the we start teaching the lowercase letters first. So teaching your child how to write their first name with, an, with the first letter uppercase and then the rest lowercase letters is very helpful. And another thing that goes along with reading um, books is is your child able to hold a book correctly? Can they find the uh, front and the back of the book? Are they able to locate where the title is? And um, if you're reading with them and you have the book open and you're you know, looking at it together, are you able to read a page and then say, no, you know, where, where would I go to read the next part of the book and see if they can show you where uh, to, to go? Um, so those are just some of the literacy skills we thought that might be helpful for you to know or things that you may already do um, to get them ready for kindergarten. We're excited to have them coming soon. Okay. Well, hello, kindergarten families. I'm Jackie Jones. I'm the instructional support teacher. Um, I help out in kindergarten every year during writing time um, and also during different types of activities throughout the day. So if your son or daughter says, hey, Mrs. Jones worked with me today, that's probably what they meant. Um, so I help out a lot there. So I'll be a familiar face to you, but also to your students and throughout the school year. If you know, you have concerns for your child with academics or maybe behavior, um, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I work closely with Mrs. Statler and the other people here tonight. So, um, you know, we're all a team and, and we work together to help your child um, in their first experience here at school. So um, I'm here for any questions. I'm gonna pass on to Mrs. Wilson is next. Good evening, kindergarten families. My name is Carrie Wilson and I'm the school counselor at Rollerstown. Um, I enjoy greeting the kindergartners when they come and spending time with them in the classroom. I support students in developing their personal, social and academic skills throughout the year. Uh, my jobs while I'm in the um, school are to teach classroom guidance lessons to all the students. So I work with students from kindergarten through sixth grade. I check in with students individually and in small groups. Uh, that's been a little bit more difficult this year, but we have been able to get a few in. Um, if student is in any kind of crisis situation or upset about something that's going on in or outside of the classroom, I take time to um, meet with them. Um, and. I try to meet with them, um, depending uh, with individual students, sometimes once a week, sometimes um, maybe once every other week, but I can check in as needed. Um, I help and refer families to community services and agencies. Um, if you would need a connection to an outside counselor or an outside service, I do help with that. Um, and I consult and work with parents and teachers to support the students in any way I can. So I look forward to um, meeting all of you and meeting the kindergartners coming up here soon. If you would need to be in touch with me um, before uh, the start of the school year, you can just call the front office. It's that same number that um, Ms. Weber shared. Um, I would be more than happy to talk with you about any concerns that you might have. I also work a few days during the summer, so you can be in touch with me over that time too. Thank you. Hello, my name is Peggy Bupp and I'm the school nurse and I work at Worthstown Elementary and also at Landisville Intermediate Center. And what does a school nurse do? Well, a school nurse is there to provide first aid care if your child gets hurt or injured. We also provide illness care um, if somebody has diabetes or someone has severe allergies um, or gets migraine headaches and needs medication daily at school. Those are the kinds of things that we would uh, help your student with. If your child gets hurt and would need to be picked up or is very sick and would need to be picked up, um, I would definitely call you. So the important thing there is to make sure when you fill out that information 
on power school at the beginning of the school year that you put down all numbers that we could reach you or anybody else that might be possible to pick them up and make sure that if any of those numbers change that you update them. Um, I also give medications out and we do need sign school doc. We do need sign um, medical orders from a doctor with the parent signature and the doctor's signature. Um, in the elementary school, we cannot give any meds without signed doctor's orders, not even Tylenol or Advil. Those would be something that you would have to bring into school and get um, orders signed by a doctor. We also do yearly health screenings. We check vision every year. We check hearing, kindergarten through third grade, and we do um, height and weight every year as well. I also am in charge of maintaining um, the Pennsylvania State Health Record that has all their information in there. What do you need for your student to start school? Well, we will need them to have a physical either prior to the start of school or during, the, during that first kindergarten year that needs to be completed by the doctor. Um, we also send out a dental form that we just need to know whether your child is seeing a dentist or if they need to see our school dentist. We need to make sure that all their immunizations are up to date. So what I do is I review them over the summer or as they come in. And if your child is missing anything, they need to start school. I will reach out to you and contact you. Um, every child must have at least one of all the required immunizations in order to start school. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to contact me. My contact information is on the slide. And there is also another nurse that works opposite me. Her name is Denise Brandt. And her and I flip-flop every other day between both schools, but we both talk with each other every day and know what's going on. Um, if you have any questions at all or would like to speak with me because your child has special needs or special medication or allergies to meds or um, things that we might use in the health room, please let me know. So. We're looking forward to seeing your children. Okay, so Mrs. Brisky and Mrs. Fisher in the office wanted to um, share some information, just some housekeeping things about kindergarten. So I know everyone's anxious to find out if your child's gonna be in AM or PM class. And those assignments come out in early June. The classroom teacher and busing information is going to be made in August. Sometime you'll, I believe, you'll get a letter. Um, and then transportation. Just to repeat, I think Mrs. Statler touched on this already. There's um, only one bus stop for each child. Um, students are not allowed to take a different bus other than the bus that they're assigned, um, and they can't use. Um, an alternate bus stop. They must use the, the bus stop that they're assigned on their bus. And families provide the midday transportation. So if you're in AM, uh, if your child's in the AM class, they need to be picked up by 1145 and the PM students need to be dropped off at 1245. So that's for some future planning that you have. So, and then the next slide talks a little bit about if you're interested in volunteering at our schools. Um, this year, unfortunately, because of COVID restrictions, we're not able to have volunteers in our building. Um, we're hopeful that perhaps that'll be lifted by the fall and uh, we could have some volunteers to come in and help at our school. Volunteers can help in the cafeteria, they can help in the classrooms. There's many different ways that they can volunteer. We have a clothing closet um, that parents come in and help organize. Uh, I have a book collection that um, parents help as, with that as well. If COVID restrictions are lifted, just be aware that you will need the same clearances as anybody else who comes into a school. Um, it's an FBI fingerprinting, child abuse clearance, and also a criminal history check. Um, all that information is available on the website. Um, as it gets a little closer, maybe in the summer, and you're interested in doing that, um, it does take some time to get those clearances um, to go through. So you might want to focus on that in the summer if you'd like to come in during the fall. And then one last uh, slide that has our 
phone number on for the school, please remember to sign up for kindergarten screenings. Just use that number. You can call anytime. Probably nine o'clock or after would be better. It gets a little crazy in the office between um, 8.15 and nine o'clock. It gets a little hairy sometimes. So between nine and three are really better times to call the school to make the appointment. And um, the dates that you'll be looking at are May 3rd through May 14th. Thank you. We thank everyone for joining us this evening. Um, they probably won't put me in charge of the slideshow again because it wasn't clicking and I couldn't quite get it to go from slide to slide. Um, but we live and we learn and we hope and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Um, like I said at the beginning, we are hopeful that as we progress that come May, um, we would really love to have something outside where we would be able to interact and get to meet the kindergarten students. Um, we really do enjoy that time with them and getting to know them before the school year and having them interact with us as well before they come the first day. So if that is something we're able to do, we will get that information out to all of you um, either late spring or even if it's um, late summer before they come in, um, in in the fall. But we look forward to meeting all of the new parents and any of our parents who have students already in the building. We welcome you back again at this time. So thank you for coming. Have a wonderful evening and we will see you soon. Have a good evening. <laughs>